Welcome to Camp Handsome, a beautiful place for the convocation of comely men. Oh man, I didn't check where I'm recording. I'm have to look at it. Did you post some business talk instead of botany? You are, like, not even <laughs> close. <you know? laughs> I, I'll get it, I'll get it. No, don't, don't join in general. Channel. <laughs> You're type in the wrong command. I'm, I got this. All right, now, all right, he's typing in the right channel. I see it. The grammar I see it. club. Ah, there. oh, you got him! Yay! Hey, Yay. Craig. It's Craig. All right, welcome to Camp Handsome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yes, it's been a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> thanks for joining us again. I'm Shale Riley. Hi, here, Shale Riley. I'm here with Glenn Case. Yes, Ail, you are. Ail Sean. Hi, that's me. And Ty Gwenly. That's me. We just went over our May schedule, and uh, we're doing a pledge drive in May, trying to hit $750 so we can maintain our five-day content release schedule. We so should note money. that this is not a super crazy goal. Uh, it is very goal. doable. We are yeah, because how close are we currently as we say these words? We're at five hundred and seventy-six dollars yeah. right now. Yeah, I so. believe seventy-five patrons, five hundred and seventy-five dollars. Thank you, each and every one of you patrons. You oh, guys, oh, absolutely. The best. Um, so yeah, during our May pledge drive, we're switching to a five-day uh, content release schedule. This and, is much like uh, what we did the first month when we first opened to make sure that we had plenty of content and we released something every single day. Exactly. Um, would one of you guys who doesn't stammer as much as me like to uh, <laughs> talk about our expanded five-day schedule? Uh, you're the only one who has it written down, unfortunately. <sighs> well, I would say that Mondays... If now, l Let's see if it's like a guessing game here. Mm -hmm. Am I correct that Mondays will be original songs? That's correct. Like. Yes. And Wednesdays. on Tuesdays. Oh, yeah, on Tuesdays. Tuesdays, <laughs> I believe it'll be Sean streaming live the streaming. creation of music. Every single Tuesday. Correct. What time? Uh, I start at usually 4.30 Central Time. Mm -hmm. uh, depending on what we're doing, uh, it can go between 30 to 40 minutes or several hours. Like six hours, I think, was probably the longest, I think. But, and where's the um, stream? And the stream is on twitch.tv slash the grammar club. Maybe one of the things that I did not specify about these things is which patrons get to these things. And that's very key. It is indeed. Well, uh, so so the who live gets stream? the Monday ones? Like who gets the Monday songs? Uh, on the first Monday of the month, the one and two dollar patrons get and up the yeah the one dollar patrons and up and up get the monday song and then uh for the $2. second third and fourth uh the five dollar patrons get the monday song. Nice. there you go and then on tuesdays who gets that that's free Just, to the it's public free. anyone can watch the twitch stream and then uh they go on youtube later mm -hmm. there you go it's a that's good way cool. to hear our songs in a very very stripped down way as in, and, well, and they haven't see the been creation. built yet. <laughs> yep, you're building them piece by piece, brick by brick, note by note, and measure by, by measure. Yeah, other other instrument by other. track yep. by track. Track. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. And then we come around to Wednesdays, which I believe Wednesdays is going to be cover songs or remixes. And yes. I believe that would probably be the five dollar patrons that get that. And that could be a remix of our own songs, like you know we. We do multiple versions of our own songs, or it could be a cover of someone else's songs. Like some MC Chris remixes. Oh, yeah. I have a bunch of those, actually. Is that a thing we've done? I, no. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's not. Oh. Oh. <laughs> in, my, in, in, in my case, I have a fun story about that, is that at the second Penny Arcade Expo, I hear MC Chris's voice say, Glenn! I'm like, What? Nice. He, he knew who, he knew who I was. That was amazing. You know, it's like, yeah, That's I heard you. a good your impression. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah, man! Yeah, man, it's MC Chris. I like your remix you did. <laughs> Fetz Vet. <laughs> and he liked the Fetz Vet remix that I had done, so I was already kind of blown away by that. He says, I want to use it on this tour. And so he, he did. And I think it was in 2006, if I'm not mistaken, on tour. He used my um, Star Wars um, Imperial Death March uh, version of it on, on his tour dates. Wow. 
yeah it was kind of cool so getting off track but that was one of the first remixes I had done was for for MC Chris that's why Wednesdays uh, Wednesdays are ten dollar patrons Mm-hmm. Oh, so it's ten dollar yeah. patrons on that. So they, there you go. Good, good thing to specify. Mm-hmm. I was wrong. That's incorrect. That's one. Ten dollar patrons me. also <laughs> get on Thursdays. They get to hear Camp Handsome, the podcast that we record every Sunday night. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and they will get to hear it before anyone else. The the nice. Camp Handsome does go out to the public, but patrons get it early. Yeah. That's right, and now Camp Handsome is going to contain the two songs that we release the week we record it, and we'll talk about the songs on the podcast. We're still going to do the regular style content where we have guests and interviews and topic shows, Uh, but but right now, um, this this is a relaxed kind of Camp Handsome. We're we're testing out the new format, and we're going to talk about the songs that we're going to release this week after we finish talking about the five-day schedule. And the oh, idea nice. here is we want everybody to be able to hear the music. We need to, we want to be able to attract new people. Uh, but we also um, want our, our patrons to, to feel appreciated. Uh, we want them to get the things early. And uh, obviously they will be able to download the songs as MP3s or lossless quality flack. Um, whereas the free releases that appear in the Camp Handsome, you're going to have to scroll through Camp Handsome to check those out. Mm-hmm. And then Fridays. What do we have on Friday? Acoustic songs. That's very exciting. I'm so, excited uh, about Fridays. So I'm not going to lie. Let me tell you how this came to be. My uncle, who's one of our patrons, <laughs> great guy, who's a uh, you know he's he's a he's an old like veteran singer songwriter play around uh, acoustic folk rock kind of guy himself. Uh, my uncle Tim, and uh, he left a comment on our Cranberries cover, saying like he liked it, but he wished we'd do more acoustic stuff so we could just like hear the stripped down, uh, the stripped down versions of what we're doing. And I think that's a great idea. I think it's nice to get back to basics, show that we have chops, and do stuff that is simple and made with. Just uh, acoustic instruments. I was giving you a music bed, and it that, can be the work. Thanks. I'll any type in. of a song. Yeah. On, a, on acoustic Fridays, we need a we need a we need a, a double letter, uh, some alliteration going on on Fridays. Like, uh, what's a what's a an F word for acoustic? Like F hole <laughs> Friday. <fucking> finger <laughs> finger style finger Friday. Style Friday. Finger style Friday. <laughs> Fretboard Friday. <laughs> fretboard Friday. Fretboard yeah. Friday. <laughs> but that, I mean, the fretboard then it could, could just be the be guitars. Needlies. Yeah. 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 The yeah. Needlies. So we're g- if anyone has a suggestion for that. Uh, Do we yeah. already have ones for Mondays and Wednesdays? Do we have alliteration on those two? No. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't going to bring that up. But we will. Mondays are just music Mondays. Music Monday. Music makes Mondays. Sense. Uh, Wednesdays or whatever Wednesdays. Whatever Wednesdays. <laughs> yeah, just... <laughs> that is beautiful. Good luck with Thursday, though. That that gets tough. <laughs> what yeah, Thursdays? Uh, yeah, talking Thursdays. <laughs> talk show. Talk show. It, it could be like we could talk talk show Tuesday, but it's that's not. Yeah. We're gonna have to move it. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. And then Saturdays are special Saturday because special, you don't you always get something. Special people about special yeah. Saturday. Should we tell Secret. people about special Saturday? You know what? No. Why not? Why sometimes, not tell the people about we special just do Saturday? Stuff on Saturday? Yeah. Well, let's I mean, go ahead. There's nothing to tell because we don't plan it. It's just stuff. Shit. Might sometimes, happen. sometimes something will happen on a sometimes, Saturday. Sometimes, sometimes Saturday, Saturdays. Special. This? Yeah. Sometimes Saturdays. <laughs> That's a good one. That's the well, best one yet. One of these special Saturdays in May. We're gonna launch our uh, our Shoutcast server. Oh, Shoutcast Saturday. Shoutcast Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> and our website, and you'll be able to go to our website, check out our uh, Radio Grammar Club Shoutcast stream, and put it in your media player, or just play it on the website, and it will play all of our back catalogs. You have hundreds of songs, a lot uh, of stuff, probably between us. So. If you want to hear music from the the grammar club, uh, probably deep cuts you haven't heard. 
We're probably uh, we are just rotate, very like, prolific uh, gentlemen. Yeah. If you want to yeah. hear music you probably <laughs> haven't ever heard before, check it out. Show your friends. Have a showcast party. <laughs> and uh, I'm pretty sure we'll be like rotating through that because uh, what what we've been looking at, we won't be able to just put like a terabyte of music up, but we'll probably have to pick like, you know, this week it'll be 40 songs. Uh, this week it'll be a different 40 songs. So th- yeah. we're still working out the details, but you'll be able to hear a lot of stuff that uh, you probably have not heard elsewhere. We should pepper it with like fake pre-recorded call-ins. Absolutely, yes. <laughs> and like commercials. <laughs> if anyone would like to record some of those uh, to be some featured, Grammar Boys. Yes, yeah, yeah. I would love it to feel like an is old Grammar terrestrial Boys radio we, station. <laughs> do our fans have a have a name? Grammar Boys is great. Grammar Boys. <laughs> it's certainly better than it's certainly better than Ivy League Chumps, which is what I've been using. <laughs> the. The real fans get that joke and aren't offended by it. Uh, the new fans who are offended by that, you're not really see, chomps. It's a joke. Go, see, go listen you, to you, songs. You could do the alliteration and go grammar guys and grammar gals. Oh, nice. Because the grammar group. Why are we the grammar group. club instead of the grammar group, by the way? Yeah. The specificity. We're changing the name. Specificity. Grammar group. <laughs> so let's talk about the schedule. Uh, we got the Noblesse Oblige starting on the 1st. We've got mm-hmm. Jesse Dangerously, who's going to do that with us. So uh, on the 1st of May, I'm going to post a video to our subreddit, which is uh, reddit slash r slash the grammar club. And it's going to ask uh, a multiple choice question to start off the Noblesse Oblige. Uh, everyone will be able to weigh in. And then Tim, our Noblesse Oblige judge, will decide on uh, <clears throat> what multiple choice question uh, we'll go with for that noblesse oblige and Jesse Dangerously is going to be our guest artist working with us on that track nice. so that'll be pretty fun and uh, we've explained that we've explained the noblesse oblige on podcast before but for the people choose your anyone, own adventure with music yeah you're basically telling us uh, we're, we're giving you choices uh, that you can decide what we're going to do with each piece of the song as we as we go through it. Mm-hmm. So you get to boss us around a little bit or at least uh, participate in our music making. And you don't have to be a patron to uh, nope. go to the subreddit and comment and uh, you know watch the video. And uh, you don't have to be a patron to listen to the song. It's going to be posted on YouTube uh, the Monday it's released on the Patreon. But uh, only patrons at the $2 level and above will be able to download the MP3 and lossless flack from the Patreon. So if you want that on your local media player, please become a patron. We would love it so much. All right. Uh, so should we get into the two songs we're releasing this week? I think so. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, so the first, uh, the first song started off life uh, under the working title "Guy is Going Shopping" <laughs> because I had a. Uh, I'd, re- I'd recorded, a, I guess, a couple months ago, um, a, a loop that was about a minute, minute and a half long, and I called it, uh, very creatively, uh, in the Tanner School of Titling, uh, uh, 100 BPM Indie Glitch Hop Loop. <laughs> 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 and uh, against all odds, Beefy found found it like that one, because we have so many. We have, I think we, have, we have lots of wonderful loops in our... Uh, in our shared Google Drive, and so few, so few find a good home. <laughs> Eventually, we'll uh, we'll release those, probably the stragglers as as loop packs for other people to use. But Beefy got just uh, out of the blue uh, a week or three ago, messaged me saying he wanted to do that track and uh, he wanted me to come up with a hook for it. So and he would he would he would write the verses based on the hook that I wrote. He didn't have anything in mind, so I, uh, I don't know, I, I opened up my DAW, guess I'd been watching a lot of diners, drive-ins and dives at the time. <laughs> Dun- Dungeons and Dragons and diners and dives. Yeah, and I just recorded some, uh, some stuff that was influenced by that. 
And uh, the whole thing became, uh, after Beefy got a hold of it, he recorded his verses, and then I I, uh, I took what he did, and I was I ran with it, I expanded on it. And it kind of became uh, like a, a Chuck Norris-esque uh, take on Guy Fieri. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, uh, internet Chuck Norris, like, he's, uh, his tears cure cancer and his kicks destroy freight trains. So, <laughs> uh, it's a silly concept, um, but it was a lot of fun. I love the beat. It's got this, it, it turned, it turned into a funk song. And, yep. uh, how did that happen? Uh, what you, who added the horns? That, uh, I, I added, I added the funk guitars first. Ty yeah. is our funk master. And then, uh. And then Tanner added the I horns. I thought so. I thought it was Tanner. Yeah, I wish Tanner was here because, man, I mean, the funk guitar is fantastic. But the horns really solidified it as the genre it became in my mind. It's like, you know, it didn't start out as a, as a funk track and it became a funk track. And I think this is the first time we've experienced such a profound genre transformation uh, in the six months we've been doing this, you know, or seven, eight months we've been doing this. Has it been that wow. long? Yeah, October. Wow. Seven, seven plus seven, eight. Ten, two plus four. Yeah. So. Wait. It's six months. Six months. Com- I was right the first seven. time. Yeah. Time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It started out as yeah. like a pretty straight glitch hop. Mm-hmm. And then. What, then what is a the... pretty straight glitch hop? What is that? Cause... All right. Um, so <laughs> that's a good question. <laughs> I'll tell you. I built it mostly from drum loops. Um, and the only sequence instrument in it is uh is bass. There's a sequence bass uh, that I'm not sure if that was. A, did anyone, you guys replace the bass, or did we? I think, I think we actually. Uh, ended I up replaced using... the bass after the uh, second chorus. Everything after okay. that I, I did. But my original bass loop is in the song in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Um. So I sequenced a uh, bass that was. It was supposed to sound, you know, like a, a realistic sort of just a bass guitar instrument, and it's just a descending, just a descending riff. Uh, a bunch of drum loops that I messed with a bit in Melodyne, and uh, also some blues guitar riffs that I didn't play that I, I bought on a Steam sale a few years ago that I, I thought <laughs> I'd, you know, tool around with in Melodyne, and uh, and I, I, I created the uh, the guitar the original guitar hook from the demo, just in Melodyne. It's it's really not too much like. Uh, like what it originally was. Melodyne is uh, a great piece of software to let you manipulate uh, polyphonic recordings. So, uh, super fun to use that. And then I threw uh, a VST called De Blue Glitch on top, which is free. Yeah. It's, a, it's, a, it's a nice, easy to use glitch uh, plugin. And uh, with, I think, some tasteful, not, not too heavy, but some tasteful use of the glitch uh, plugin. Uh, mixed, so it wasn't 100% of the mix. So you hear the original dry drum track behind it, which gives it a. That's a less common way of, of using a, a glitch uh, mm-hmm. plugin, as far as I know. I haven't heard that so often. And I think it I gave it kind actually of. Actually, used it on the uh, bass part that I added too. Nice. That's that's cool. I, and I do, I did the same thing. I, I mixed it like 50%. Yeah, it so gives it. It, it gives it a. Over the top. It just gave it a unique sound. It just kind of made that demo pop, and uh, it just came together. It's it's one of the one of the instances where I was very surprised. I just did not have any expectations that this of what this track would be, and I'm I'm really happy it became what it did. It's it's great. Uh, so I guess I guess without further ado, we can go ahead and play play the track, which we're calling Flavor right. Town now. Uh, the working title was Guys Going Shopping, but I thought people would look at that and think. Maybe it contains some sexist content or something. I don't know. I mean, <laughs> uh, like guys can't go shopping. I well, I mean, maybe someone time. would think. Right, I know, but maybe someone would think that we think it's weird. I, I don't know. I'm probably overthinking it. You're definitely overthinking it. All right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I like Flavor Town as a, a title. It's more succinct. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So without further ado, here's Flavor Town. <laughs> Fresh 
habanero, seaweed flakes, masticated coconut, concord grapes, hot avocado, blue cheese grits. That's what goes on your grocery list. Pepper jack cheddar, matzo bright, guy fieri, hey, what a guy. Flavor town flavor, picture this. That's what goes on your grocery list. Wanna live forever? Be Nosferatu. Otherwise, be mindful about what you put inside you. Bland food got you screaming like a kaiju. Perhaps you should bump the kind of flavor I do. California, you could bump into a starlet, but none of which is shining half as bright as Johnny Garlic. Got the bleach in my beard, I got the spikes in my hair, add goofy shit to a beer. It's like I'm already here. Yeah, put me on the air, baby, and then I win it. Set and shop at Times Square, like, oh no, he didn't. Like they called in the Senate, man, I was ordered to quit it, but not before I sensed the food reviewers floating Chappaquiddick. Ay. Can't live your whole life in the deep fry. Wind down, have a little bit of me time. Get bananas with the grocery game. Let me tell you how the list gets made. Tell them, Riley. Rise with the daylight, steel cut oats. Waltz to work on a tightrope rope. Living in my office, 49th floor. Window to window, not the door. Blood of a tiger, dragon's flames. That's the stuff pumping through your veins. Double dark matter, golden flake. Hold up, y'all, it's my cupcake break. When the sky rolls out to the club, young ladies pour Destroyer, hypercube, universal healthcare, railgun tube, grand unified theory, bunch of ludes. That's the stuff that I'm purchasing, dudes. All of the water, all the land, Guy Fieri, hey, what a man. Flavor town nation, flavor world, that's what I'm calling groceries, girl. insert track here yeah there we go that was nice that was good uh, i like that's i like we need talking to have it be every time i like talking insert about things i'm qualified here. to talk about yeah yeah <laughs> insert track here welcome okay, back now that the track is played welcome <laughs> the back. track is played we hope welcome, you enjoyed that welcome track back. welcome to the future how you like that synth how you like those synth brass stuff it's oh my gosh stuff. the synth brass so and that was then, great and then the live brass that was live brass <laughs> And the Tijuana yeah. brass. Well, sampled brass. Oh, yeah, that's right. In your pocket. There's, oh. there's synth brass, yeah. and then there's sampled brass. See, this is good. I'm glad we're hashing this out, so when we write the, the track right up, we'll all be straight on it. <laughs> 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 I didn't know. who. So you threw the sample brass in there? No, it was Tanner threw Tanner in threw the, the sample brass. brass. Okay, I thought, I I thought the Tanner did the sequence brass. brass. I had it backwards. Well, it's Actually, all I, thought, I thought it was all sequenced. Well, it's all sequenced. Well, it's all sequenced. Yeah. Well, hold on. I thought some of it was sampled. But it's it's sequenced, uh, sequenced samples. samples. Rompler. Yeah. Okay. Rompler. Yeah. Rompler. That's one way to put it. <laughs> gotcha. There's cool. Rompler and then there's synth. All right. So these aren't just pre-recorded brass loops. These are uh, no, no, no. Romp. No. Samples. Samplers. Cool. So uh, our Wednesday track. What's that? Good question. Long silence. <laughs> dead air. Dead air. Dead air. Ah, oh, oh, long what silence. What is our Wednesday track? We I'm not even going to cut that out. I'm just going to enter like a like a. Je- <laughs> I'm just going to. I'm just going to insert a Jeopardy sound alike into that long silence. <laughs> it could actually be like the uh, We Shop music. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm thinking of the other one. It's the. can't do it so what is our wednesday song <laughs> i'm gonna have to check <laughs> oh okay. we wrote all this um, stuff i thought you wrote it's it cookie all puss down. no oh, wait, no wait no wait that's your that's so i i i, I read the wrong thing but cookie puss is what you're going to be arranging on stream on Sean, tuesday, uh, on tuesday. Like 
No, I, I already have by the oh, time awesome. anyone hears this. I did this uh, two days ago. They watched That's me right the arrange past. Cookie Puss. Yeah. But Wednesday, the Wednesday song that they got that, yesterday. That is going to be... <laughs> oh, that was uh, that was Tanner's Hot Garbage remix, which oh, contains... Oh, nice. right. Yeah. Right. Uh, it's been in the works for a while. And that contains uh, vocals by our own Goblin, my, my brother Devin Riley. <laughs> I think he's got a, got a guest verse in there. Tanner's not here to talk about it. No. no. It's okay. You'll never know the details. It's all right. You know what? It's a secret to everybody. This is what we'll do. I'll just have Tanner record like a little 15 second uh, thing of him talking about the track and they'll insert it through the magic of, of radio. Insert Tanner here. <laughs> insert we'll do. Tanner. I'll, Tanner also, I'll also keep in the part of me explaining how I'm going to have you're, Tanner Yeah, you have to. And then, and then we'll put in his loop, uh, him yeah. talking. Um. Hey everyone, it's Tanner. Uh, the Hot Garbage remix came out yesterday. I hope everyone got a chance to listen to that. It's pretty noisy, but I had a lot of fun putting it together. Um, I started working on that remix a few days after the new year and got most of it done by the end of January. Um, also, while working on other songs we were releasing at the time. A couple months later, Devin Riley, Shale's brother, sent me a verse he recorded and so I swapped that out with Beefy's verse. Um, I thought it was a nice addition. I really liked it. So I wrapped everything up probably just over the past week, and I'm really excited to finally release it because I've been thinking about it for a few months now, and I'm glad other people get to hear it finally. So now, enjoy whatever it was everyone else was talking about. I have no idea where this is being inserted. So... Let's see how this transition goes. I'm going to throw in a cool effect here. Blah! I'm wasting cause life's dumb Grow out your tum tum Like a war drum Stay hot until you die And when you die, die young Live the lie, lie young Fake it till you fucked it Buy a truck, buy the farm Upper cut the bucket Esoteric sojourn of fortune Keep the mouths open Pull from a deep cuss the sweet hemoglobin And if the sheet's soaking Maybe ring it out And if you're feeling viral Cover your damn mouth And your nose too It's like I told you I'm celestial, so is my whole crew. Dance soda jerks need to get their air pumps checked. My meningitis be a pain up in the neck. Erect a trash fire and effigy to a hater. Garbage hot enough to burn down the incinerator. I think that someday I'll find the get started. This track is okay. I like this hot garbage. I like this hot garbage.
Uh, Hot Garbage was was the first Noblesse Oblige track, and I love how it came out. Uh, love, yeah, it I love fun. the yeah, it was fun to do. Really interesting. Uh, I think I love I love the chord structure on the chorus that Glenn changed. Uh, made it pretty pretty uh, unusual. Like <laughs> it's just it's really catchy, oh, and it's, uh, it's really fun to play on, yeah. on the guitar. Oh, it's nice. uh, I don't I don't get to do those heavy riffs very often. Well, yeah, there you go. Super, I usually fun, beat him to those. It's a fun heavy track, <laughs> yeah. and uh, the remix is very heavy as well. I, from what I've heard of the demo, I mean it's released now. I should pretend I know it. <laughs> 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 but uh, right. the last the last version I heard um, that Tanner posted was really heavy. Uh, he he took the spirit of the original track, uh, that energy, that that oomph, and uh, took it in a sort of a drum and bass direction. I like when uh, Tanner adds heavy guitars and Beefy objects to adding more guitars. (laughs) Does Beefy object to adding guitars? That's a different song, but it happened. Oh, I haven't heard Beefy. That's like the first thing I've heard Beefy ever object to. I don't don't remember. One of of their mixes, Beefy literally says, your solution is to add more guitar. Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that's a solution. Uh, Beefy doesn't understand being not a guitarist. That that always yeah. seems viable. <laughs> <You know? laughs> My answer is almost always more Wurlitzer. I, I, I go Rhodes myself. Yes, but, but Wurlitzer. I, well, I appreciate the Whirly. As a proud owner of an actual Wurlitzer, oh. yes. get out of town. Oh. More Ty, Wurlitzer. Why don't we? Why don't you play the Wurlitzer in our tracks more? Okay, I will. Uh, you know what? We're doing this acoustic thing. If you want, I mean, do I s- did. Yeah, do. If you want to do some like stripped down just Wurlitzer and bass arrangements like no drums or anything like you play Wurlitzer maybe Glenn will play bass or Sean will play bass or anybody then I'll do some vocals or anybody that would be really cool to do like some okay. piano bar style stuff yeah <laughs> I mean I kind of did that on Brahms Lullaby yeah yeah it gets a little Ben Foldsy in that song oh man I love Ben Folds <laughs> as do I I'm not into him. <laughs> no? <laughs> nah. Really? I got nothing against him. I'm just not into it. The whatever yeah, and really? ever the whatever and every man album is the one. Maybe that you have to it, discover it really him is when you're really younger. Good, yeah. Not enough guitars. Drowning slowly. Yep, yep. <laughs> He's got a song called Effington. It goes Effington? Effington can be a wonderful effing place. They're uh, effing yeah. in their yards, effing in their cars. <laughs> 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 Making my way on to normal Illinois. Oh, yeah, I want normal, to yeah. live in Effington. I want to die. Is, there he, t- is he from Chicago? Is he from Illinois? He's from the South. Is He's he? from South Carolina. I, think. I, didn't, I didn't know there were other or states that have like an Effington. Virginia. Oh, no. We have an Effingham. And Effingham. a normal. Yeah, there's a... We have a normal in Illinois. We also have an oblong. Oh, that's right. You're in Illinois. So Effington is Effingham. there is an Effington, yeah. Illinois. No, I think it's a real thing. I was wrong. Effing- we do, yeah. But oblong and uh, normal are real. That's pretty great. Yeah, and normal is in the song. That's, that's yeah, it's funny. way to normal. I think is the name of the album. Way to normal is the name yeah. of the album. That's a great album. Actually, I guess are there other states that have a normal? Like there must be. Probably one would one would think. One would yeah. assume. One would suspect. Mm, There's like, no normal in New Mexico. <laughs> oh, that's what I hear. There was a headline once in one of the local papers when a normal man married an oblong woman. <laughs> <laughs> so what are we doing on uh, the rest of the week? What are we doing on Friday? What's what's happening uh, the day after our, this is our released? acoustic Friday? Yeah. Uh, something uh, special suppo- coming up. I mean, I guess we don't have to finger style Friday. Pretend we know <laughs> finger style Friday. Finger style Friday. Oh man, that's the, I can't beat that one thus far. I can't come up with a better name. Yeah, for finger it. style is good. I mean, for, yeah, finger style probably beats fretboard. It's just got uh, more musicality, the better cadence. No faking to Friday. S- something, but you know, fake it. You know, no faking. fake Friday. Yeah, no, no fake, fake Friday. No fake. No, yeah, no that fake. works. Finger okay. style, no fake Friday. Finally. Finally, Fridays. finally Fridays. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so those are our plans for the the first week. Yeah. Um, 
And then Shoutcast Saturday, the first week of this month. That's right. Which We've is in a couple days happening. when you're listening to this. Sometimes Saturday. Sometimes and, uh, Saturday. We've got something special happening on a later Saturday. Indeed. We've got on, let me just check the schedule real quick. A Saturday the 19th, I am going to be, wait, I need to make sure that's the right date. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Saturday, okay. Saturday the 19th, we're going to be announcing the release date for the new Grammar Club album. That will be available to the public to buy, to stream. We might announce the title be, even. We'll announce the title and the release date, which will be pretty soon. It's not going to be a long time between the announcement and the release. I mean, we just sort of announced it, didn't we? Well, we teased it. Yeah, that's what this <laughs> is. This is a tease. That's what the word is. Yeah, and it's going to be this. comprised of, uh, of songs that we did uh, on the Patreon. So thanks to thanks to you patrons. And uh, we're probably going to gussy them up a little bit. Little little touches up here and there. Some some tweaks, some remasters, but nothing some, nothing uh, major. Yeah, just additional tweaks. mastering to make sure that they flow nicely. Yeah, we want yeah. consistency in the masters. Except when we want lumps. Except sometimes when we, we don't. Lumps. Yeah, sometimes when we, we do presidents want. of the United States yeah. of America covers. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's right. We've got special Saturdays. <laughs> Very special Saturdays. We've got uh, uh, the first Saturday of the month. We're gonna try to release our shoutcast and website at the same time. Hopefully, it'll all go well. I'm. I, I think it's gonna work out. I think we're gonna do it, and uh, then. Try to have something special on the, on the mm-hmm. second Saturday between the first and third. I kind of want to try doing something weird, but if I don't get it to work, I don't want to have to come on and explain that it didn't work. So I'm not going to say what it is. <laughs> Shell, <laughs> okay. I've, I've got to say now it you, seems now like you've got me curious. See, to me, it seems now like I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Shell Shell Riley's motto to life, I think, is I want to try something weird. That's, That's pretty close. <laughs> It's it's actually I'm bored, but it's pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> they they amount to the, the same most thing, don't words, they? Pretty much. Yeah, no, I do want to try something weird. <laughs> I mean, I got this blue Fanta. It's new. Have you tried that? <laughs> it's pretty delicious. I love blue what, soda. What flavor a, is blue? I wind, <laughs> Windex. I normally think raspberry. Windex. Fabuloso. Yeah. Raspberry? Wouldn't that be red? <laughs> you would think it should well, be, but I, you normally has, they say blue raspberry for some reason. It's been blue since the 90s, since yeah. blue pops. I believe that Those it is delicious blue raspberry. Delicious blue raspberry blue pops, yeah. It's, like, no, for it's, some it's, reason, they <clears throat> the words blue and raspberry go together, even though they aren't actually blue. I remember coveting blue raspberry candy in the 90s. Like that, when that flavor came to be out of nowhere <laughs> it yeah. was everywhere there were like gummy straw like sour gummy straws that were blue raspberry all kinds of lollipops and uh, hard candies and taffies and it was a uh, it was a bonanza of, uh, of blue mouth kids the summer of 94 <laughs> but yeah blue fanta tastes much better than fabuloso at Does least it? as yeah, good I, as windex yeah i could imagine i could imagine that probably was more like 90 90- one or two now that I really think about it. <laughs> what I'm seeing a lot of now is a lot of different flavors of M&Ms that I'd never noticed before. It's like, you know, when, when did I we all the, of a sudden have 10 different versions of that? The caramel ones and the mm. uh, the coffee nut ones, those are winners for sure. Yeah. The yeah, like the, 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 the espresso delicious. ones pretzels, that they have now. Pretzel's too. good, but it's... I it's, haven't tried espresso. No, it's, pretzel. You know, pretzel. You know oh, espresso. what I saw advertised? Pretzel and M&Ms. Notice I advertised like today. My two worst enemies. <laughs> <laughs> what do you got Not against M&Ms, M&Ms, but Skittles? I saw sweet heat Skittles, a hot flavor. Yeah. Of Skittles. Uh, I'm I'm kind of into that because I like. I would hot give things. it a try. Yeah. I like. I mean, I imagine they're gonna be like like uh like Red Hots, right? You know those, you uh, those candies. Uh, I don't want it to be a cinnamon. It should be uh like like a, it should be like Frank's. I think. It could be a cherry. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so you want it to be like an actual hot sauce? Yeah, I want that's, to, that's horrible. I want horrible. it to be like like, <laughs> like pickled a sausages. That like, sounds do you ever get, you get the gas station pickled sausage, the hot stuff, man? Like uh, the Red Hots? Yeah, we're yeah. talking sausage, not candy. Oh, I thought you were talking about cinnamon Red Hot candies. Those talking suck. About cin- we're talking about s- hot Skittles, which yeah. are real. Yeah, Sweet that's just Skittles. wrong. That's wrong. That's so, wrong. I mean, what no. do you guys think they taste like? No, Red Hots like? are I, good. They go I in Sprite. 
You don't. You don't Red Hots, like a handful of them. If Red Hots. Red Hots is talking like I've never tried that. That, but that sounds, sounds good. That sounds yeah, it's real. Just like cinnamon it's cinnamon sprite. Yeah. See, yeah. if we're talking like cinnamon hot, then yeah, it's all good. But if we're talking like spicy hot and candy, no. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Have you ever had like chili chocolate? Like chocolate with chili That's, powder? It's so yes. Good. Well, have I have, the, and it is terrible. Cincinnati <laughs> chili. <laughs> Cincinnati chili has oh my some chocolate. I thought I knew you. Ty, you've had Cincinnati chili, right? We've I had, have. We've had it together, didn't we? I have had Cincinnati yeah. chili. Yeah, and there's chocolate in that. There's cocoa. Yeah, but yeah, but it's okay. It's like mole. Yes, it's mole a very, it's good. a subtle amount. It is not the the primary flavor. Yeah, mole. But is when fantastic. you mix, when you make like spicy chocolate, that's just mm. wrong. What? No way! Spicy like hot chocolate great. with spices. Mm. Yeah, some nice hot yeah. or or even just like a dark chocolate bar with like a nice uh, capsaicin kick. No. Yeah. Mm. No. No, wow. yeah, different no. strokes. There's more chocolate for me. <laughs> so, hey, Sean, do you have- I mean, I don't, I don't much care for chocolate in the first place. So, I, I, you, I, you have at it. <laughs> I, I, I like this red hot and sprite idea, Sean. Yeah. And then oh, yeah, I want to know, do you have any other candy hacks? Okay, so like uh, the red hots going sour like straws and yeah. Gatorade. Ooh, uh, I don't know if ooh, I have ooh, any. Ooh, that's, 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 that would work. Yeah, salty and sour. I can see that being a good thing. Uh, if you take a um, like a um, Candy corn, which is fairly polarizing, right? Love it. Uh-huh. Right? You either love oh. it or hate it. Um, mm-hmm. If you mix it with uh, like salted peanuts, mm. it's Ooh. basically a handful of Snickers bar oh, or wow. payday bar. Kinda, yeah. I've yeah. heard. I've heard that Diet Coke and Mentos is really great. It's yeah, but you not have in the to way pop, you, think. <laughs> you have to. You have to make sure that you swallow the Mentos whole and then quick. <laughs> uh, you know what is actually good that I got from an SNL skit? Drinking a Mr. Pibb through a red vine. Oh, yeah. Ms. yeah. Mr. Pibb and yeah, red yeah. vines is well, actually crazy yeah. delicious. Crazy yeah. delicious. Yeah. Have you had cherry Dr. Pepper? Because that's basically what it no. is. It's, oh, smart. Yeah. Uh, Gene crazy. Simmons promoted it. It was Dr. Pepper with a kiss of cherry. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes. And I think that they ended up uh, having the same thing with the guy that uh, sang uh, Chocolate Rain also did one of those. Oh. Tazon Day. Yep. Yeah. Is it, yep. Well, is it Tay Zonday or is it Tay Zonday? Uh, Tay Zonday. Yeah. Tay Zonday. All right. Whoa, did you yes. echo, Ty? How did you make that action happen? It happens when know. you say the word. Just when you say the word? No. Tay Zonday. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> Monday Zonday chocolate rain. All right. So that's our schedule. That's our candy talk. Are there any other good candy hacks? I, you know, it's one of those things that I, when I get candy, I just think to do weird things with it. I got a good one. I got a good yeah? one. Yeah? Okay. Charleston Chew in the freezer. Freezer. Yep. Yep. No. Charleston Chew goes ah, in the freezer. It becomes Jesus. better. I like having teeth, man. Uh, <laughs> I've, Snickers. I've paid a lot to Snickers have Snickers in the teeth. freezer. Well, let me... Snickers is good too, but I mean Snickers is more of a jawbreaker than Charleston Chew in the freezer. Oh yeah, the trick with the freezer candy: don't leave it in for too long, and don't yeah. chew it. Just, yeah. I mean, if you just want to leave take it in it for and... like, you know, for four to six hours, don't leave it you in know, overnight. There's always the old standby: uh, honey roasted peanuts and Coke. Get out of town! I've never I hadn't heard even of heard that. of that one. Yeah, that, really? Who, I mean, who's sta- a standby. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I I don't have to think about it. Even I can picture that, and it's good. Like yeah, honey. Yeah. I mean, it's just, just yeah. I mean, it's just it's peanuts and cola, sugar. You know. Yeah, well, sounds, I would drink a peanut flavored soda. Now, come to think of it, that would be good. Oh man, there's there's a gas station in walking distance to where I live, and today I bought a whatchamacallit for the first time in like forever. Oh, I love those. Yeah, those are good. Yeah. I never think to get them. Yeah. You know what? Mm-hmm. I I didn't try until I was an adult, and I feel really stupid mm-hmm. for is take fives. Oh yeah, I love those. Mm. Oh, those are man. like, but they're gone in like two seconds. That's, that's the problem, man. That's true. You oh, zero you bars are where it's at. Oh, zero bars. And are I just bought a zero like today too. Delicious. That was the other one that I bought. Diabetes. Was the white chocolate. Like the calorie count in a zero bar is astounding. But I love zero <laughs> bars. Yeah. I can imagine. Uh, you know, actually, oh, I gotta tell you, if we're talking about the my favorite mass market chocolate bar is actually a brand new product called Hershey's Gold. Not hundred. Oh yeah, are you talking about the peanuts and pretzels one? Yeah. Yeah. It's a it's fantastic. It's my Those are good. I, I there's nothing better that on the market that's like a regular candy from any drugstore right now in my opinion. It's I mean, there's Reese's peanut butter cups and nothing yeah. like nothing that. is Always. better have than you tried, Always and forever. Have you tried the the the, Hers- the gold bar? The Hershey's gold bar? There's it's not going to be better than Reese's peanut butter bar. cups. 
the, have you ever the, tried the white chocolate Reese's? I love no. those too. Yeah, I probably have because the, the gold. It's 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 not chocolate. It's a caramel cream substance. That's it's kind of like a white chocolate, but it's not. And uh, you gotta try. It's it. unique. It is unique in in a good way. Is it like? I, I ate two king size bars on the way home from a gas station one time last time. Bought. That's why I can't buy anymore. That's why I can't do it. But I got any of you guys have the Schwann's out. guy come by? Oh, I love the Schwann's stuff too. Yeah. Who's, who's Schwann's? Seen the Schwann's truck? In yeah, like the Schwann's years. truck. Uh, yeah, it's been a minute since I saw him. We used to get like the the ice cream, the gold bars. Yeah, all the time. Straight up. What is a gold bar? Uh, I'm What's looking it Schwann's up right now bar? so I can explain it. Yeah. It's, um, but we would get the ice cream delivered to us with the Schwann's truck. Yep. Yeah. Did they have that? Like, this in, was back in, in the day. For not me. in the Midwest. Like, well, no, like, we had it out here, yeah. and that was when I lived there. It was central to Southern California at the time. Um, Golden you know, where... Nugget. That's the one. There it is. All right. Let's. Uh, you're talking about bars that go in the freezer. I'm going to link that here. You can. Do we put links in Camp Handsome? We should do that. Sure. Schwann's. All right. I, just, I sent it, it to consequent, consequences. I sent it. I had to a us. neighbor that used to like get all their food from Schwann's. Oh yeah. See, that's overkill. But wait, wait, they, so they had a is, lot is that of a delivery stuff. service. Yeah, they would drive kind the of. truck around, and you would the the driver would come in, um, and sell you food, and you would buy the yeah. food from him. And they didn't just have like ice cream; they also had meats and oh, yeah. oh, frozen yeah. dinners. Oh and yeah, stuff. absolutely. If you look at that the page sounds... I linked and scroll down, there's a fully cooked buffalo style boneless breaded chicken wings, <laughs> and blackened chicken Alfredo, and bagel dogs. Oh, oh, bagel dogs. Bagel dogs. Those are words that belong together. Let me tell you. Uh, yeah, they are. Yeah. Bagel dogs. Yeah, it's like pigs in a blanket, but with a bagel and a full size hot dog. <laughs> but a bagel isn't shaped right for a hot dog. <laughs> well, that's true, but I mean, <laughs> you know. Are you mostly eating like empty bagel? <laughs> no, take a look at the picture. It's uh What makes a bagel a bagel? Is it the shape? Is it okay, the I, I see think it. it's the dough that makes a bagel a bagel. Bagel dogs and cheese. It's yeah, I get it. I get it. It's it a looks, bagel style. It looks dough. amazing. It looks good. It yeah. does. It does. I would Schwanz. I would get extra fat eating all of those, I think. Yeah. Like say, I'm bagels the, are boiled, aren't they? Bo- they yes. Boil a bagel. Boiled, boiled and then baked, I think. Guys, like now donuts, I'm looking at not, frozen not steaks fried. that I can buy online. <laughs> I need to stop. <laughs> I'm confirming whether they're, or not they deliver in Spokane, <laughs> but I believe I actually knew someone from here from town who was a driver for them, so I'm sure they do. Nice. Oh man, they've got online ordering and stuff, and then you can have the oh, driver yeah. come and bring you things now. Schwann's has stepped into the 21st century. Oh yeah, they wow. were they, they they've been doing that for a long time. I'm sure they have. I just haven't looked for a long time. I mean, for oh, forever, like 50 years probably. This episode I, is uh, sponsored by Schwann's. Sponsored by Schwann's. Oh, oh right. we gotta get off of this before the Carvel folks hear about it. <laughs> oh right, right now yeah, you're right. I'm right. <laughs> good. Hey, Carvel, you need to step up your game and start delivering in trucks. Yes. Yeah, and all right, by all rights, they don't have any one, any of them anywhere near me. So, there you go. True. So you got to you got to get Fair by enough. Thus far, that is right. True. true. <laughs> Carvel doesn't provide me with a signature USDA choice beef filet mignon. That's Which, definitely true. <laughs> let's just say. Uh, that's a so thing. You're saying that, that Schwann's is the next April 1st EP. <laughs> Probably, <laughs> if if we even make it that long before yes. it happens. So, <laughs> I just we're supposed to be talking on this podcast, and we're all looking at pictures of food. Is what just happened? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> and why wouldn't you? It's and I so think the listeners are too. It. I hope so. I hope that the yeah. listeners are participating and also looking Sorry. at delicious foods. We, um, we can do we, cut do out they the, have the any draggy veg- parts of that. <clears throat> do they have any vegetarian options? Because I'm looking at the meats here, but I don't want to leave out our vegetarian friends. They've got some Brussels sprouts. You know, I didn't try those until I was an adult either, and I feel ripped off because they're amazing um, when they're not yeah. trash. Because they're when really, they're, not they're trash, either that's... one or the other. Yes. Um, Brussels sprouts are they're they're either You know what's the same way? 
um, meatloaf. Meatloaf. Oh yeah. No, there's there's okay meatloafs. There's there's wonderful. Meatloaf. There's trash, and there's just eh, that was all right. When I worked um, on the uh, when I, when I worked on the movie The Postman, they mm-hmm. fed us fish or meatloaf, but the way that the guy pronounced it was midloaf. Fish, <laughs> fish, fish or midloaf. Med, med, medloaf. You know medloaf. what is what is really either either or is uh, tomatoes on sandwiches, um, because like when you get fast food tomatoes and it's been frozen or it's oh, been it's sitting bad. for too long and it's not even red, you're like, wow, that's why kids hate tomato. Yeah, uh, but I'm not a big tomato one, like, fan. But you I love fresh? everything made from them. Yeah, where it's like yeah. bright red, and you you open it, it, you cut it open, and it's just red and juicy. It's it's not uh, even the same thing. Uh, yeah. It's not. Yeah, oh, it's man. just garden, it's garden so much fresh different. Tomatoes yeah. are just mm, well, garden fresh mm. tomato, fresh mozzarella, little basil. Oh god, that's yeah. a good time. Or provolone. Yeah. Um, any or provel. Cheese. Any cheese. Provel. Any if you're from time. St. Louis, you get the provel. You put it on there mm, on a tomato. I would love like a margarita provel pizza. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Provel short, is also very polarizing. <laughs> in short, we are all hungry. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Why don't all we write time. more songs Nonstop. about food? We should do that too. We should do a food we're, album. We're, we're moving we're, in that direction. I mean, Weird the Carvel EP is close. We got, a, we got a food song coming out this week. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah, we do. <laughs> in fact, I think we got a food song that we released three days in the past. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're at 44 minutes. Oh, that's go. good. I th- yeah. You know, uh, we got a nice lean podcast. We'll trim it down. Yeah. Yeah. Trim out the fat. I think we'll that'll be good. Outro. All right. So I was going to say. Thank you we- so much. Oh, yeah. Thank- oh, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, go, on. Yeah, go ahead. Let's do it. Give me, give me a tempo, Glenn, and I'll accompany you on the outro with oh the shaker. Well, hold on. Before we get there, I wanted yeah. to say thank you so much. Yes. Thank you so much for listening. Um, please, if you like the podcast, please um, share it. It's going to be on YouTube on Friday for everyone. And we would love to get some new listeners, new patrons hanging out with us, listening to the podcast, talking to us in Discord. Just please, if you could be so kind as to share the YouTube video of this podcast you're listening to right now when it goes up on Friday with your friends on social media. And that'll be the Friday next week, not to, not, not the day after it comes out, but eight days after it comes out on the Patreon. Please help us get to our $750 May pledge drive goal so we can stay in operation and we can keep making content five days a week, keep growing. This has been great. Thank you so much for participating. Let's keep it super great. All right. Easy Mondays. Something Tuesdays. I don't remember what Tuesdays was. Whatever Wednesdays. Talking Thursdays. Speaker style, no fake Fridays. <laughs> and sometimes Saturdays. Sometimes Saturdays. And we talked about food. 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 We're hungry on Camp Handsome. Woo! That's right. Thank you. <laughs> nice. And. Okay.